Hey friend, and welcome back to RGD Gaming, least toxic, most fun commute in all gaming. In this video, I'm going to try something a little bit different than normal, where my edits aren't quite as extreme as some of my other videos, so let me know how you feel when watching this one as opposed to some of my other ones. I'm going to focus on understanding the meta, playing around what Wild Rift gives you, and if you've watched any of the tier lists recently, you're going to know that Kaisa is S plus tier, but most ADCs are actually pretty solid picks right now. They made every ADC stronger compared to other champions, and you're actually going to see this where we actually get a Jinx playing top lane. There was a funny mix up here where for some reason their team switched lanes and I thought they were doing that just so they could have a better matchup against Jinx uh, but actually as it turned out it looks like they really just made a mistake and some you know whoever didn't make the mistake was just filling in the lane for their team. So you saw me go to bot initially Realized they had done the switch and now I'm in top against a Yasso and I even sent a message to Brom that I I want him with me uh, because I wow and and the Jinx gets a kill on the uh, On the Draven there, so that was great um, And Jinx says switch because I think he realized like he wanted this matchup against the Yasso and he was fine with it and that they were gonna switch uh, so I actually fight him here knowing that I'm gonna recall and I can put a little bit of damage. I shouldn't have taken the fruit. You realize, like, I made a mistake and I ran away from him there. Um, but Kaisa is S plus tier. And when patches are updated, some things are so obvious that they're going to get stronger. Like, they said they were taking away Kaisa where you don't have to build double broadswords. Okay, obviously that's going to make her stronger because now she can have her first full item and get some sort of a bonus at the first dragon. Um, but it also just generally made her stronger in fights as well because of the, the buffs that they gave. Um, so if you have not tried Kai's out, I recommend it before they nerf her. But you can see, like, level 1, I am fighting this Draven and having, you know, almost no problem. If I would have played this a little bit better, I would have had a kill on him as well. Uh, but unfortunately I go down, and if there wasn't a rotation, I, we would have just straight up won that fight. But you can see how strong Kai's is against Draven, who is kind of the ultimate early game champion, and he's got a Yumi on him. Um, so, you know, I'm still sort of, uh, testing Kaisa. Like I thought, I th actually thought I was good there and that I would survive that. Um, but that's okay because you can now tower dive with Kaisa at, you know, level, I think it's level three. Whenever you have, you have all of your abilities, you can tower dive. You really just need, need to hit your first ability, hit your second ability, and then use your run to either get out of the tower or initiate that fight. So you can sort of get everything off all at once. And then ideally you'd have your flash too. Uh, but I'm against a Draven and uh, Kai'Sa generally, when I am playing Kai'Sa, I'll say this because there's not a ton of data on this. But when I play Draven, I actually tend to beat him in lane. And especially since Kai'Sa got the buff. And there's some new items that play really well on Kai'Sa. Um, the, I think it's called the Steel Bow. That's probably not right. Uh, but you'll see me buy it in this match where she gets uh, attack, crit, and a little bit of lifesteal. And so here you'll see I go down again. <laughs> One thing that you want to keep in mind is if you're playing a strong champion there, you saw I just bought the item. Uh, so one thing that you'll, you should know or at least keep in mind is even if you get a little bit behind... Uh, if you know that your champion can come back, which in this case Kaisa is a later game champion than Draven, you should not be afraid. And here we're kind of in a weird spot uh, because I can't really get away from Draven's chasing me down. Graves jumps over the wall and, and you know, Jinx is there. We're all here, which is nice, uh, but we just don't have quite enough damage and the enemy ends up stealing. I get out of there with just one HP and so that's fortunate that I even got out of there um, and we are able to get Draven and Malphite uh, so we trade Dragon and a kill for two kills which was not that great and you can see the Jinx is already flaming our jungle I I don't care for our jungle actually coming out of the pit to help me fight it he probably thought that you know we were going to be okay uh, so that is unfortunate that he did that and now I'm in a lot of trouble and what I'm doing there I really just want Brom to run um, I'm staying up as high as possible just so I can die and hopefully he can get away and you'll see I buy um, the Boots that help resist 
stuns, taunts, chants, and give me a little bit of magic resistance against the fizz that uh, keeps rotating on me. Um, so keep in mind, I am down 0-3-1, oh, which is a bad spot to be. Uh, but with one, the later game champion, you're going to be okay. And two, the fact that Kaisa is so strong right now, I'm actually not even worried about it. And you'll see um, in a little bit some of my play that does not indicate a late game champion that needs to farm. I actually play her like she is very strong, which she is. Uh, so the enemy team is up there and they get Rift Herald and that's okay. But I'll be able to take this turret, get some gold, and then hopefully get out of there on time so that they don't rotate on me. But they're fighting in mid, so I, I do have plenty of time. And I'm just going to use my abilities to get these minions while I'm still attacking the tower because I want to get it. Yeso comes and I have to run away a little bit, uh, but that's okay. Uh, he was late to the party there. And then I realized, oh, I should probably just take this wave back off a bit. And I can see Graves is pinging, and so we're going to collapse on this Yasso. So I fire off my second ability, proc his shield, exhaust him. And I don't want to get too close because I don't know if he has ultimate, and if he hits me, that might be a lot of damage. And we're able to get our first skill, so thank God. And now we should really back off because Draven's there, and you can see how much his attacks chunk us down. Um, I believe in this particular match, I went for Collector second. It might be a better third or fourth item, to be honest, um, just because you want to have that damage from your other items. I do like Phantom Dancer. Uh, it's pretty good. gives you the movement speed, and it gives you bonus attack speed as well, uh, which can be good. So I do, I actually tend to like the uh, Shield Bow, excuse me, is the name I was looking for, into Phantom Dancer, and then maybe um, Collector or IE. Uh, but those four items kind of as the core, and then depending on what else you need, sometimes you need Magic Resistance or Armor. But games aren't going as long, so you tend to really only get about three items. So you got to make those count and make sure that they're good. But you'll see how aggressive I'm playing here. Okay, so I'm just fighting. I'm in the middle of the fight. I get one kill. I get a double kill. And now I want to engage onto this Draven as well. So we're able to collapse on him. And let's see if we can get him. And another kill. And now I want to chase down this Yumi. And get the fourth kill there so what I was saying like you can see when champions are strong you just want to play them like they're strong I mean I was 1-3-1 one, one there and then I go and I basically get a quadra kill and now we're gonna be able to rotate take dragon so I'm rushing this dragon I know we don't have a ton of time uh, but I what I really want to do is focus fizz down at least get him to panic he gets it so that was a good job and now I'm able to get another kill. So from 131 to 631 is really good. I want to shove this wave, get a reset in, and now I'm very strong. So if I wasn't strong before, um, you can see how strong I am now. And I actually, oh, actually, I go for um, a little bit of armor pierce and then also the um, heal cut as well. Because uh, I don't want them to be able to heal. A Draven often has items and heals pretty quickly, especially if he's strong, which he is. So this is a bit of a weird spot, and I do want to back off, and I'd love to use my alt and get out of there. Let's see if I can live this, and I can't. So that was an unfortunate situation. I had a ton of shield there, but still wasn't able to live it. But I'll be honest, I'm still not very concerned about this. I know they have some dragons, uh, but again, Kaisa is very strong in the meta right now, and I know that if I get in the right spot, I can make moves. And you can actually see Jinx, who is not doing super well, can still put some good damage on the enemy. And that's where ADCs are right now, that you kind of want two of them on your team, so that way you have the ability where, you know, Jinx or I can pop off at any moment. Um, and I'm taking jungle camps i assume they're maybe on i thought they were maybe on baron right there uh, but they weren't and now you can see draven is kind of out of place um, he's way overextended and he's got a lot of action to deal with let's see if we can get yumi as well and graves is able to get yumi this malphite's kind of in a weird spot 
and boom, we're able to get this. So we get three of them right there. And again, you can see, even though they have the dragons, we're still very strong. And now I ping that I want to go for Baron. Actually, I have Brahmin Graves, and we should be taking Baron here. They have someone in bot lane. Malphite's the only one that can contest it, and if he comes around, we can just kill him. Uh, so that should be a non-issue. Uh, so we are able to get Baron, so this is looking very good for us. So we have the Baron buff, and we, we kind of want to fight right now. Um, Oriana is dead, but that's all right. Flash double up. I don't know what that means, but... Um, so here, you can see me tower diving the Malphite, just running through like it's no big deal. Uh, but that's how strong Kaisa is. Like, running, you can take a couple of shots and still get out of there um, with... Your alt, your third ability, and then if you have flash up as well. And then on the exhaust, I go um, Nimbus Cloak, so that way whenever I use exhaust, I get a little bit of movement speed as well. And that was definitely a mistake on their part to come this far. And then I alt, trying to get another kill, and I'm able to. And here I just get really crazy, because I think if I could get my first ability off there just on Fizz, uh, I would kill them, and that would basically be the end of the match. And it's still going to be really close here, but that shield does tend to help out um, and make games last longer. Um, it, it is, you know, it's pretty difficult to kill. And so if you don't have a full team there, you're usually not going to be able to end based on death timers this early in the match. Uh, but we do have all of them killed, so we should take a turn or two. And Jinx is going to be going for it. It's going to be tight. He... Let's see what he can do. Draven's coming. 266. Ah. So they get another chance at this match, which is not great for us considering they have the dragons. But again, not a position in which I'm going to panic. If Oriana would have been with them, yeah, that's the end of the game. Uh, but people aren't always thinking about that, and sometimes if you're just way out of position, uh, it can be kind of tough. So let's see what we can do here. I use my ultimate, Braum uses the ultimate, able to get a kill onto Draven, and then Yumi, and now we're going to take this dragon, it looks like, unless we go down, which we do. Um, okay, so we did secure that dragon, which is good, so now we just stop them from getting three, which makes them much stronger if they get three dragons versus the two. And we're in a spot where I probably should have had... Um, stasis earlier that way i could have stasis and might have been able to live that but that's okay um, i have my core items and now i'm just kind of deciding what i want to do here um, and i look at sterix as my last item oriana is able to get a kill this jumps a little bit far there and that's okay um, so now we're able to hold them off and let's see if we can get yeah so so we've got baron coming up is able to get out of there their male fight's dead so we kind of want to group and fight we could probably take this baron real fast but here draven ends up in a very weird spot and now we're able to get one two and now we've got five versus two so this should really be running there uh, but unfortunately he decides not to know what the meta is and play around that so playing around kaisa and jinx and specifically kaisa because she's so strong right now if you are ever played her and have any proficiency i strongly recommend it because you can see i was like i said i was oh three and one then one three and one came back and basically got five kills in that situation make sure that you are playing what is best and doing your best to figure out what the meta is because that little edge that she has right now is the difference between winning and losing those fights and being able to stay alive. So hopefully I see you on the Rift. GG.